More than 50 people representing different entities, including law enforcement, those incarcerated, and recovery coaches held a virtual event today. The main statewide convening centered on deflection and diversion initiatives within Maine regarding those struggling with substance abuse and entering the justice system. Kadichi Lawrence reports. A statewide virtual meeting. The director of the opioid response, right, for Governor Mills, sheriffs, police. It was all about deflection and diversion when it comes to the justice system. Brittany Garrett is a program director with Police Assisted Addiction and Recovery Initiative. We think of them as, as deflection as those non-arrest path, non pathways to treatment and recovery. So anything that is, you know, not holding charges over someone's head, but you know, being able to deflect them before they get into the criminal justice system. Robin Goff, program director for Volunteers of America, Northern New England, says this work is important for public safety purposes. We continue to see record overdoses every year. Uh, our jails are overcrowded. People are being released with no resources. Maine saw a record number of overdoses in 2021 with 627 deaths reported. Goff says people may not understand the impacts of a arresting even one person with substance abuse. So say you've got mom and dad and their kids at home and somebody's arrested and they go away for a sentence. There's now only one income into the household. The children are experiencing adverse childhood experiences by a loved one being in incarceration. She says it may also result in families turning to state resources. What's worse, she says, is it becomes a cycle. When an individual does get out of a period of incarceration and they're on probation and they have no license and they have no vehicle and, you know, there's these requirements of, of you've got to come report to probation and they can't get there, they're violated, they're back in jail. Garrett says it is all about looking for solutions. Coming together and talking about what they're doing so that we can enrich everyone's work and save more lives and get more people connected to treatment and resources and and you know keep people from getting back into that cycle. Goff acknowledges people will get arrested but says those are missed opportunities. Garrett agrees and says saving lives is more important. The cost savings alone, not to mention the lives that will be saved by um, deflecting and diverting because we do know that there are people that are going to go to jail and having those um, parameters in place for treatment courts and resources inside of jail and prison is really, really important. Um, but we know that of the, the vast majority of people that can be deflected into treatment, we know that really if you include criminal justice, healthcare cost savings, it's a, a savings of 12 to 1. Kodichi Lawrence, WABI TV5 News.